Okay, we are rocking. We are ready to go, I think. I'm hoping. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to put it on our battery power. Which happens to turn our avionics on, which I don't want that. Um, if your pumps can go on. Um, let's turn our bam and bam. And we're going to put some fuel on there as well. Good. We are going to bring the old mixture right out. I'm going to put these down because we don't need them anymore. I'm going to put our brake on though. That would be a good idea. And try to get comfortable and get ready to start her up. Uh, a bit of throttle. Yep, a bit of quarter or so there. I'm walking board whoever popped in there. So we're going to we watch for our manifold pressure. Not going to go. No, what have I missed here? Uh, but a few pumps are on, batteries are on. That should be okay, we should be right. Give it a touch more. <coughs> uh, fuel is on. Both magnetos are on. Um, a temperamental little thing, isn't she? Come on, baby. Let's go. No, you don't want to start for me. What have I missed here? Battery switches on, avionics. They should be all right, unless I've done something wrong. Um, not having any luck what's going on here that's right i can't see why we would have a problem because we have mixture out magnetos on fuel fuel is on maybe i've the fuel pump maybe flooded it or something okay let's try that again Engine one is flooded, so we should lean max throttle and crank the engine. Okay, okay, buddy. Um, to lean max throttle and crank the engine. Come on. Oh, we had it. What? <laughs> oh dear. We'll get this. We just find. Okay, let's try it out now that it's not flooded, perhaps. Come on. You're not still flooded, are you? Ah, beautiful. Here we go. We did it. Yeah, I don't know why she was uh, being a bit temperamental there. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Where's my bloody mouse? Pop those up a bit. We are actually going because our FS economy flight is going, so we really keep going. 
I know exactly where we're going, so we need to get going. Turn off the old brake. What I do like is that uh, everything is running really nicely. Get on, taxi lights on, no lights, no alternators. Hey Brad, how you going there? Come on, why are you not giving me enough throttle? Sorry not to rudder. Come on baby. We must have some wind here. Let's get that taxiway. We're stuck in the grass at the moment. Come on. We're actually in Idaho. And for some reason, we cannot turn this little sucker to the wrong way. What we're going to do is going to bring it back around. I think we may have a bit of wind here, which is really does affect the old uh, uh, supercarb a bit. So hopefully we'll be okay. Come on, let's get out on that runway. Now we're at Tuka. How are you, Brad? Anyway, what's shaking? What time you got there? Okay, we're going to go straight out. Let's give ourselves some flaps. Oh, we already got flaps. Oh, she's. Oh, I just remembered too. This uh, elevation on this runway is not great, so we're going to have to. Uh, you know what? Let's take it around and bring it off. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to take it off from the other way. Let's see if we can. So we won't be able to get up that. I've got to fix this runway. So we're going to bring it round. Squeaky brakes. Now I know there's not really the, the runway per se here, but uh, it is the runway. So just because X plane doesn't give you the runway doesn't mean it's not the runway. IRL. So we're going to come down here and we're going to turn around. Oh, you're going to check stick sicky, eh? Sounds good. Now we're just going over to Sandy Point because we're in Idaho. It's a pretty good little hub, so hopefully it won't take too long. It's only about uh, how long? You're going to be difficult, aren't you? That's the thing with light aircraft and wind in X-Plane. It's just very... Sometimes you just can't turn these little suckers. If you do it the right... If you turn away from the wind... Ah, thank you. Uh, I can't see this thing. VR, you can't actually see. Come on, oh no, 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 you light aircraft, you. Oh well, that was a, uh, that was the most interesting uh, takeoff ever. Oh gee, this is really good in VR. Well done, Rush, well done. Okay, we're going okay here, now we're going. But uh, yeah, if you've got too much wind, Things are not good. And there goes someone else with a follow. Awesome. Daz, hey, what scene explain scenery is that? Um this is um I think this is US Ortho. Um yeah, I think it is actually. I did do a tile here, but um Um I think I stopped it. I was having some issues with 3.0. Okay, now we're gonna bring it back a bit. I don't even need GPS for this because I actually know this area pretty good. So what we're going to do, we am try to level this out. Actually, it's, it seems running really well since I got rid of that stupid X-Vision. And i tell you what else, get rid of Chrome. I'm using Edge and uh, it just seems to be helping me out. I know with the Dash 2, which I've got here, uh, I used to be using Dash and it would crash. 
dash crash but uh, now it's not so yeah okay so what we've got to do we've got to lean this little sucker out if we can um, oh I can do it from the, the hotas um, let's we bring it back do we hear it it's sick Well, he's not getting sick. Okay, anyway, we'll leave him there. Hey, buddy, where are you off to? And we're going to bring back our props a bit too, if we can find a controller. Now, what I, only thing I don't like about... Better bring our props back to about 20... It's about 23, but I'm happy with that there. So, yeah, looking good. Now we're going to trim it out a bit. Can move thanks so I'm gonna see if this dash will actually um, explode on me like it usually does I'm waiting for hopefully Sean sent that hot, um, warthog oh damn it warthog um, The detent, hopefully he sent that, because uh, that would be handy. Because uh, I know I need it in the near five, I need to have... Uh... Okay, those props are back too far, by the way. It's good, we need a bit of speed. So, there we go. So, I, I assume this is... This, um, level 16 ortho and uh, don't forget to look out the window what I will do which I like to do is open up the doors there we go I like to do that you better grab this guy out here and put him somewhere so then you can have a better look see This is a very cool little aircraft. It's uh, very, it's kind of slow, but uh, that's our fuel half full. Oh, that should get us there and back. So we are doing FS economy here. So um, we have a couple of passengers on board. As you can see, there are descendants of Wonder Woman. I just thought I'd do this because uh, Saturday night we're doing group flight and we're actually doing it in the um, in the Super Cubs so I thought I'd give it a whirl and make sure I've got it down I don't want to die I actually flew from um, an airport in New Zealand down to Queenstown it took over an hour and a half actually it was the longest Super Cub flight I've ever done so I did that and uh, it wasn't running so good fresh air that's right how do you uh, how you click on cockpit um, with um, my touch controllers I'm in VR here um, Miguel um, you got your little touch controllers I wish I could use just touch controllers because I'm that type of guy um, but I can't so I actually have to use my HOTAS which is the Warthog oh it's beautiful <clears throat> the wind in my hair there are a couple of things that aren't so great um, and what I don't like is the fact that um, I'm sitting here at my desk and there's a desk see right there I'm hitting my desk and I hate it I fly the Zebo and everything else I fly with just touch controllers and that's why I like it so Otherwise, the funny thing, Iligos, who's a dev for uh, ASDG, said, oh, we want people to fly with HOTAS, even in VR. It's like, really? Way of the future, boys, way of the future. Yeah, did you know that it was um, VR? I try to keep my head pretty good. I like to uh, make sure that um, my movements are 
slow and not too fast just to keep everything um, lovely because I know that people don't like watching VR really so unless Brad's doing it so I'm actually pretty stoked that I've got um, oh thank you whoever that was I really need a like um, an alert inside VR so yeah off we go over to um, Sandy Point quite lovely over there if you look to the south um, Cord de Learn is over there I think that's how you pronounce it actually there was this uh, girl that used to play World of Warcraft with us back in the day she was from uh, Cord de Learn, I think and uh, she moved to Long Island Long Island? yeah Long Island why would you leave Idaho? Idaho is awesome. I do enjoy watching VR as well. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. Uh, I tell you what, I watch a lot of VR in uh, DCS. Um, as for VR, well, I have seen you do VR a couple of times, Brad. But as for, oh, actually, Sean, DJ Sean Zero Zero, uh, he, he does a lot of um, uh, VR. Just doing the shared cockpit with the uh, 737, which was awesome. See if I could make up a um, little stand for my joystick. I could move away from my desk and I could just use this for everything else. Yeah, I could. So, Brad, chucking a sickie, you gonna do a stream today? Hey, Shane, welcome aboard. Long time no see. Actually, no, it hasn't been that long. Good to see, you, man. Um, we're just headed out of Idaho, uh, Tuca in Idaho, which is a part of the um, the um, little landing badly group in FSC that I'm in, and uh, we kind of base out of there and fly because Idaho is sensational love Idaho I'm glad to see the dash is working okay off we go yeah I don't know about that runway I really don't it's looking a bit odd there's another dodgy one around here somewhere is it under me maybe oh oh Oh, VR, don't be like that. Don't be cheeky. No, we're flying nice and level. I was going to do a 7 3 flight tonight, but um, I didn't. Sorry I didn't make the live flight on Saturday night. Oh, no worries, Shane. Uh, it was really fun, hey. We did it on VAT sim. I would like, personally, because I'm not awesome at um, air traffic stuff like VAT sim, I'd like to do an FS economy, uh, sorry, FS cloud. Uh, that would be better for me, just because I don't know all the calls. But, um, yeah, there was three of us, so it was a good start. Um, some of the guys, uh, what, Continuum, it was actually Continuum's idea to do it. So um, he, I don't know what happened to him. I know he's going away the next day, so he didn't come. But uh, Oswalki uh, as well, Bag of Bones, obviously, because it was his idea as well. And yeah, we did a really good leg um, cans to um, Hamilton Island. So it was cool. I used the um, DA62. Um, Bones was in the Baron 58, and um, uh, Rexy was in a. <laughs> A King Air 350 he was like pulling it right back so he um, didn't uh, go too fast but um, basically what happens is uh, we kind of pick like a specific style of aircraft to run and we do that so it was kind of a 58 DA62 quite number last week this week it's uh, a Super Cub or something similar so I guess a Cessna 182 would a 172 would work as well so that makes it easy for everybody or something like that maybe even maybe a 
beaver. No, beavers are faster, aren't they? Okay. But it's going to be good. Like, um, do like, um, I wish I knew what the wind was. I'm going to be doing lots of legs. There's about 30 legs. And, um, I won't be there for all of them, of course, but, um, I'll definitely be giving them a go. It's really fun. Um, should pick up flight school for practice. Flight school? I haven't looked into that. Well, I got Dad's to help me with it because he's a pilot. So, um, and um, Sean also has offered to help me out on it. So, but uh, flight school is it? Um, is that the mod? Where will where will you land? Just up here, Miguel. I don't know if you can see over to the right there. Um, it's um, um, Sandy Point. So we're going to bring back our power a bit. I do not know what the wind is like, which is kind of a shame. Actually, I'm going to do a flyover because this thing in the wind is not fun. So we'll see if we can... Because we're VFRing here, we should check out the um, the um, wind sock. So we don't need to back off too far yet. We're looking good. I'm pretty sure the weather's on. It just seems to be super clear here. But I guess super clear means um, good for viewing, good for um, streaming. I did a flight in uh, New Zealand the other night or day, it was the other night I think, and you could not see anything, it was just all clouds, it's like, oh yeah, good stream. Okay, so here's Sandy Point coming up. Oh yes, yes, of course you can. I th I'm pretty sure you can drop a link there, Shane. I think I fixed that. Busted some people sometimes. Good old Nightbot. It, it means well. Okay, let us see if we can find a windsock. Oh, we've got a train down here. Yeah, US Ortho, for me, uh, like up here, it's just a touch green. I don't like the, the, t the tone of the green. Nice train. YouTube. Okay, um, yeah, I'll... Is that a... Is that, I, I, did I say Q8 Pilot doing one? Okay. Let's uh, see if we can find a windsock. Now I'm in VR, so things are a little bit tough to see. I'm going to say the windsock. Is nowhere to be seen? No, it's got to be, got to be here somewhere. Oh, there it is there. Uh, coming from, okay. It's crosswind. Awesome. That's what we need. Yeah, that's the vid. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, I usually watch QA Pilot, actually. I really like him. As I do you. Now... Okay, what we're going to do is bring in our mixture. And we're going to give ourselves... Well, no way. Have you ever seen a plane jump up so high from just throwing in some flaps? Lots of trains. Here we are back there. I don't know if anyone has this aircraft. Um, it is quite the doozy for landing. Okay. 
I don't really want to be losing any altitude right now. Oh, thank you for the follow or the... Uh, Oscar, hello. Thank you for the follow or the subscribe, depending on what oh, we, everyone seems to be here on Twitch. Okay, where's our air strip? Let's give ourselves... Don't want to... Oh, yep, it's back there. Okay. Oh. Bring him round. Let the madness begin. Yeah, this thing's a doozy to bloody fly, that's for sure. We have a bit of a crosswind though, it looks to be. I don't know how much trim I can get in this. Good luck. I don't think I have much more trim in it. <coughs> so I know with this, you can't just pull off the throttle, otherwise you're going to be not doing so well. Well, see, bit of a yeah, it didn't didn't go well, didn't go well at all, guys. Now I'm going to drop off the throttle. Yeah, she's a bouncer. I was doing so many good bloody uh, landings recently, but that was not one of them. Well, you can't win them all, can you? Such a maybe it's these Tundra tires; they're really bouncy. So, a shame. I was really trying to impress then, but uh, to no avail. Okay, we've got... We're only doing FS economy, so let's just... Um, get ourselves down to idle here. We might just sit ourselves just off the, just here for the, because well, we're going to take off again, see. Don't you stall on me. I should have, okay, we're just trying to keep it at a thousand, uh, thousand rpm basically so that's pretty safe there okay i'm just going to do the fs economy thing uh what kind of headset using i'm in um yeah have a soft one yeah uh oscar it was not soft was it no i do apologize okay marcus uh da -da -da -da. mark's mad hi what kind of headset you using? i'm using the rift you definitely need to change some alert sound especially in vr Ah, so you can change the alert sounds for uh, each for like YouTube or or Twitch. I like that. Okay, let's do. Let's finish that flight. And I'm pretty sure I have another one. Zero. Okay, zero loaded. Um, if it's on me, we are at here. Sorry, I'm just picking up another flight. That, 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 we are looking at, um, what do we got here? My flights. <gasps> what happened? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. Why, my flights, why isn't it working? Warning. Um, um, Why are you not? Something's going on with my flight. Sorry guys, I'm just going to have to cancel that. Okay, KTS2. That's the thing with uh, VR, you can't share all the stuff you're doing. Um, 
Ah, oh, damn it. I've just used... So is the reading of gauges is comfortable, sorry? Oh yeah, it's pretty it pretty much is. Um gauges are really easy to see. It's um the digital stuff that makes it hard, especially the things like the magenta and stuff like that. Let's take off some flaps, we'll just go with that. Um Let's go flying. Let's get rid of our brake. Now, the thing about this um, little beauty here is uh, it's obviously a short takeoff and landing little number. What you do is, if you can, is you hold, hold your, uh, whoops, sorry, that's um, me trying to lift my detent. You pull, pull back on the stick, and as soon as you pull off, there you go, we're up. Doesn't take much. we go okay I'm gonna head up into the mountains so we do need to get rid of some flaps here let's get some altitude Yeah, some alert sounds, eh? Yeah, good idea. Oh, I'm no expert with this whole Twitch thing. No doubt about it. <coughs> Get some good altitude this time. We're going to have to head over those mountains. Now, we are going to lean ourselves out of touch. Obviously, being in VR, I don't have, I don't have the, you know, the highest in auto gen on, so. Yeah, that's true, Ginger. Actually, I was watching a video on the Carbon Cub, and uh, I know this is a Super Cub, but obviously they're very similar and still applies. Um, basically this instructor, who obviously the guy who makes the carbon cubs, he was saying, and he was teaching somebody, I can't remember who, it was some guy called Flight Chops or something. And basically he was saying, you just um, give yourself some flaps, um, hold back on the stick um, and just keep it a bit of pressure on the back stick all the way until you start to lift off and when you start to lift off you push forward and then uh, and then up she comes and it, it would take off in like 35 feet it was pretty pretty awesome out we go Oh, it's looking pretty out there. Wind in my hair. Did I put the flaps up? I certainly did. Looking beautiful. This is a nice little li uh, little livery too. I like this one. No, let's see if we can get out of here. Um, bam. Bam. There she is. So I'm so, I, it might be loud out there. I'm sorry. So yeah, nice little, nice livery. Let's get back in there. Oh, that that, that was nice little fade out. It. I tell you what, she's running a bit lot better than what it was the other night. 
I'm surprised Continuum was, could handle watching my stream. He was like, hanging in there. But he was having a cup of tea. You know how Continuum loves to have a cup of tea? He has a cup of tea before bed. So I will be interested, I will be interested to see if Dash hangs in there. What I need to do, bear with me a second, where's you? Straighten out baby, now this does have an um, altitude hold, but uh, it's a bit on the dodge side. I'm getting the slightest little stutter, but uh, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it really translates on onto the um, stream too much. Oh, you're being a bit difficult. Why are you doing that? Interesting. I should I should do some just normal TD two D um, streams, but. I just want to fly in VR. Oh, how's our fuel? Oh, our fuel is not looking good. Um, and this absolutely terrible GPS is not going to help me out. So, where's my little friendly map here? I think we need to land before we, uh... What's... Uh, it's not going to make it to there. ID 54? Well, I can make it back to Tuka. Uh... VR, don't be silly. My only problem here is the um, the really bad looking terrain on the runway. It's um, hey, why are you doing that, VR? I'm hoping we can uh, come in, we can come in early and uh, drop down and hopefully stop before that little hump. Otherwise, we're going to smash into it and we're going to not be happy. You know what? I haven't flown for a while. PC12. Okay, we can level out a bit here. Now I'm wondering if these little stuttery bits are, is because. Let's see if we can turn on this, uh, this old. Uh, yeah, you're not very good at holding. What kind of autopilot are you, by the way? Screw you, autopilot. Screw to hell. Yeah, I don't think it's doing a very good job, to be honest. Yeah, I think... I'm thinking the uh, FPS is going lower than it's in the middle between like 45 and 22.5 and that's when you start to get those slight little tears which is annoying I would have to check
Oh, what's happening? Oh dear. Oh, we're just gonna have to go with that. I don't think it's too bad. Yeah, our fuel's not awesome. We've still got a lot of lot lot in us. Yeah, so I'm going to talk to Bones, and I'm going to see if he'll do uh, FS economy as well. I just think it opens it up for more people, not having, wor having to worry about the ATC. Um, I've actually completed all my ortho for coming down the coast. So we are very high. Very high. I wonder, I'm just going to check the weather. We'll just let ourselves come down here. Yep, it's real weather, who would have thought? Uh, I wonder if I can actually fix the... Um... No, I can't. The view distance would be good. You know what, I would be, I'm happy with seven nautical miles or something like that. Oh well, actually that kind of helped me out. I've um, lost my little judders. My frames are good again. Okay, so we're a long way up obviously. We're at, uh, what are we, six and a half. It's quite a long way up. Um, so we're going to come down. So the other thing I wanted to test tonight was um, DCS. Um, yeah. Wow, we're going to be flying quite high over Tuka. It's going to be tough to do a nice landing on this runway with that big uh, hump in it. Oh, sorry, I missed a, I missed um, Marcus's uh, comment. Um, ask it because I'm I'm developer for X Plane Eleven, making SP thirty now. I want to make it as well. Make it as well. Oh. What? Sorry, Marcus. Uh, what did you want to make? Sorry, I missed your comment. Jeez, slack, slack, Milo. Well, this is running quite nicely now. To be honest, I would like, I wonder if I could cheat. Let's cheat. Let's just cheat it up a bit. Because I would like, I would like to um, keep flying here. Okay, let's trim ourselves out a bit. We'll fly over Tuka, but we'll keep going. So, oh, geez, that's not cool down. Wrong button. Okay, let's just start, see if we can do this. Um, flight, now let's do, because I'm not actually doing FS economy at the moment, let's just give ourselves some fuel. Let's just, we'll fill her up, done. Now we can continue on. Oh, the wonders of Sims, okay. Let's go. We'll fly over Tuga and then we're going to head over the mountains because they're always more, more pretty. My English is great. How much um, does this plane cost? Um, I think it was 42 American actually. 
Holy crap, what is that? I don't even know what that was. Yeah, 42 American, I think, but it's it's um, it's got the REP in it too. So the, R the reality expansion pack is... Um, is 19.95 US so you get that with the aircraft so you know it's like a 20 dollar aircraft if you think of it that way but it's pretty sweet it's definitely different you know like when i get an air i get aircraft i get i try to get them having them at a different type like i have a super cub i have a saab I have the DA62, I have the DC3, and I have a motorized glider. That's all I really have at the moment. Yep, that's the one, Ginger, that's the one. Okay, look, there's two good down there, that's where we started from. It is a quite an um, interesting approach with that uh, little ridge there. Uh, but we're not going to land there because there is a um, bad piece of terrain uh, we're going to head over the mountains. So it's quite beautiful up here. So yeah, our frames are looking good again. I don't know what the story was. You touch controllers are in my way. And you're not moving. There's one. And other one. there so yeah that's where we uh, we started from we're gonna have to give ourselves a bit more power this is running quite nicely again which I'm really stoked about what I will do though is I will turn off the map after I make sure we are heading in the right direction. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good actually. Okay, let's uh, pop you off because you take up a bit of your frames. It all adds up. Well, I don't know, but I think the dash is actually hanging in there. So this is it, this is my test to see if Oculus Dash is okay when not using Google Chrome, which is what I've I've found uh, in my research. I can see my. Uh, my chat has moved a little, a little bit. And just to the south of us, about uh, maybe 100 nautical miles, is the Idaho backcountry, which is super fun to fly in. Excuse me. Um, looks to be an interesting... Oh, okay. This is where my ortho takes over. I think over there. Over to the left. Which is... Um, you can see the line over there. So there's something up with um, the US Ortho. And a couple of tiles here. You can see it's a little bit checkered like right here. Kind of weird, kind of weird. Actually, what I need to do. You know what the map needs on here? is a little ruler like DCS has and tells you exactly what the heading is. Yeah, so this is a, this is definitely a bit weird. This little checkered number. Whoop. Whoop. 
plane is this? Hey, prop, how are you going? This, if you look up just up the top there, um, just two up, um, Generic Ginger has just posted the actual plane. So you can actually click on that link there and you can see exactly which plane it is. This is a, a Super Cub. Hey man, this game seems dope. Hey Matt, so you should, you should give it a go. It's pretty sweet. very relaxing well most of the time it's relaxing yeah <laughs> yeah yeah prop it's um it's funny that it's yeah it's good of ginger just to linker in there do I need V after this game no of course you don't no hey thank you for that what do we got Oh, prop, yep, prop baby. Good job. Thank you for that. Good job. Well, that's a stupid, stupid response, isn't it? Good job. Yeah, thanks for that. Appreciate that. I also have a YouTube video, which um, is under the same name. So if you like YouTube, like watching YouTube, um, my videos go up there as well. So, but um, we all know that Twitch uh, looks better than YouTube because of the compression that YouTube does. So, it's understandable that you want to hang out on the Twitch. Okay, let's have a look at our little map here. I want to make sure that I'm not going astray. Yeah, I think we're doing okay. We might head straight for one of these little numbers over here. This looks kind of cool. I like this one. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? To be honest, I'd be happy if um, Restream or whatever um, just... Oh, that, oh, that's terrible. Don't look don't look down there. Don't look at those checkers, guys. Um, I would be happy for voice to text <laughs> in this, but I know it's kind of a bit dodgy because no one wants to hear a computerized voice talking to me. So it looks like we have to go over the next ridge get where we're going we're just out flying that's all we're doing here we're just flying I think we've got enough altitude let's uh, see if we can trim this baby out a bit very temperamental pretty early to still too Does anyone um, the Piper never flown never flown a fly the Embraer 175? All right, um, I don't have any Embraers. Is that the um, who does the Embraer? I don't think we're actually in the... Uh, we don't have any ortho here. You know what? I think we should go to New Zealand. Let's uh, see if we can... Because New Zealand is awesome. Can I actually pick you up? No, not really. I'm gonna try the uh oh it's a bit tough when you gotta okay S seventy five's there empty okay I think we should I think we should go because there's no ortho here so what I'm gonna do is let's do this uh, use the same aircraft and we're gonna go here 
I'm going to go to uh, in said Q in green sound. To be honest, I think I just oh no, I better. Oh no, I can't. I can't do that. Um, interesting. Interesting. Um, where is? Um, no, I'd have to reload it, wouldn't I? That's a bit boring. <sighs> Maybe I'll just have to. Okay. Mm, I don't know. You know what? Let's have a fly in the PC-12. This PC-12 is pretty cool. Um, ba -ba -bum. Where are we, PC-12? Okay, let's uh, grab a different... ...livery. Um, that'll do it. Okay, so we're just going to go to... Um, sorry, back. Um, let's just go here. Oh, there. Change it up a bit. We're, fly we're flying around that for quite some time. Yeah, and that's my problem. Milo plus late evening decisions <laughs> equals confusion. <laughs> Milo confusion, yeah. Xcraft did an amazing job, really. Oh, I never thought of getting one of those. Uh, what airport do you need? Well, I was actually thinking of going to New Zealand, but that would have required me to start X plane completely again. And I didn't want to do that to you guys because I didn't want you to hang on. So hopefully it'll come up shortly and we will be ready to go. And people don't really like you chopping and changing, that's for sure. So we're just going to load in. Hopefully it'll pop up soon. Reading the scenery files. Yeah, I've never actually thought of buying that um, Embraer, one of the Embraers. Um, I would probably get something like... Uh, an A320 or something, really, so I'd have to see. There's too many choices, really, isn't there? I should have, you know what I should have done? I should have jumped in the Saab. I'm going for a fly in the Saab. Nowhere specific, just go for a fly. Come on, explain. You can do it. Reading sceneries. I do apologize, guys, for this. Uh, I do know if VR stutters, something is happening. I would like, I'm, I really, I really think it, oh, 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 wow, I have not been in this for a while. Oh, 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 what are you doing? How are we going? He's just thinking about it, just... I like to, I like to get out of the aircraft and um, you know have a walk around just so the VR kind of gets an idea of what everything's doing. So yeah, PC12, very cool little aircraft. Another thing I can do maybe is to settle us out. Let's go have a look in here. <laughs> maybe. Oh wow, that really works. That really works. Okay, let's get it. Look at the textures on this little number. They're pretty good. Even in with my settings out of the way they are. I have pretty decent settings. But uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, grab my little friend here. And I'm going to grab him and I'm going to put him in the seat beside us. Like that. And pop us back out. Okay, 
Um, da, 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 da. Usually I fly twin jets. I mean, I have an A320 by Jar and also the 75s. Yeah, I've thought of getting the uh, 75s and stuff like that. Okay, been a while since I've been in the old um, uh, PC-12, but the good thing about this is I don't have to sit... Um, I don't have to sit at the... Uh, Bear with me guys, I'm just repositioning. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, be, um what are you doing all the way over there? Okay, you can move. And go down there. And you, you're okay where you are, I think. Okay, I've got to remember how to fly this little number. I really love this plane. If you do any FS economy. This guy is very cool. Okay, so what are we going to do here? We're going to put on external power and the batteries, one and two. We're going to put on our um, nav, our beacon, and our taxi lights. And good. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. We don't put our gens on yet. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh is our condition level let's move that out of the way and let's move you out of the way as well now the biggest thing with this little number is i'm gonna have to move you just a bit i'd rather you be like there okay wow i i've flown this i flew this from brazil to um to uh up into um into idaho okay so we're looking good here there's not much really to do in this so let's just get it going um fuel pumps to on and we're gonna start her up and we'll put our she's pretty cool Okay. Now I only have one problem with this is that um, apart from being extremely loud, Okay. Oh. Wow, I have not flown this for a long time. Let me know if it's too loud, guys. Um, we'll be good. You know, we'll be good. Avionics. Avionics and gens would be good. And, and put out fuel pumps to auto. Okay. I'm just hoping there may be one thing that may be a problem. And the problem might be the trim on this. Wow, she's really twitchy. I haven't played this in a while. Wow, she just won't keep straight. Um, Rush also did the flight model on this. Um, he um, did it up, so I've got that in here too. So 
That's kind of cool. What I don't, only thing I don't like about this aircraft is that the, the, the rudders are really, really sensitive. It's really easy to um, get off track. And obviously the torque gets you as well. Yeah, oh, hey, 99, hey, going, yeah, um, definitely different from today, wasn't it? It's looking pretty good. Now, I'm a bit worried about my trim, to be honest. So, I, if I, if the trim is really bad, uh, I, I do apologise if we crash, guys, because the um, problem with having a HOTAS is that you, if you don't have your trim in the right spot, when you use your touch controllers, everything goes skew if. So, I do apologise if this does not happen. What I might try to do is pause it Oh, it seems to be okay. We're up. You're up. Get rid of those flaps. Okay. Where I'd like to go is fly over the... The thing is, I won't be able to... Um, I won't be able to... The problem with the map on the, the, the X-pad is that you can't zoom out far enough. It only does a certain amount. But anyway, we're in the air. We'll kill some time here. It's running pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. But like I said, the only problem I don't like is um, is the the steering on the ground. One, two. Yeah, this is kind of the heading I want. I want to take. Oh, it's good to have you guys aboard tonight. I'm glad the VR is running really nicely too. Ah, oh, see you Brad, thank you for coming on board and throwing me a follow, I really appreciate that man. Um, I'll probably see your flight today sometime, so I'll see you then. Thanks for coming. Off we go. So everything's running really nicely. I'm really stoked. I really wonder if it's Google Chrome. Okay, so we can actually... Now, these are a little bit dodgy here. Because what, what happens is, if you want to put in, say... Uh, feet per minute... Um, 
and you want to change it to, you know, 1600 feet per minute. And then if you want to hit it, hmm, it's actually doing it differently now. That's weird. Well, I just look like an idiot. Uh, I'm going to go up to... Let's get our heading select. Uh, where's our heading select knob? Here. Right there. So we're just going to go this way. And we're going to land. We're just going to do a landing at this airport over here. So we're going to put our uh, heading on. Uh, we are actually going to... Yeah, 13 three is okay. Your damage is on. Air, air, autopilot is on. It just means we can actually have a look around because it looks beautiful out there. Ah. What I might do though is bring the power back to about 33 or 34. It's a good cruise torque at about 33 or so. So, yeah, so it basically says we have 3 hours and 34 to go. If I was to pull back my power, that would increase like that. Bring it up again, it would decrease. So it's good to know that you have something that tells you exactly where it is. So if we have a look around here, a plum, how far away is that? 100 nautical miles. 72. Yes, we don't have any real plan here. We're just, we're just flying. Uh, we're just going to have a look outside. And it's running really nice. You know what would be really cool? So this is going to level out soon. What I'm going to try is going in here, going in our plugins, stick that. Oh, oh, oh! No, no, no! Don't do that. Um, and we're going to go to Avitab and bring Avitab up, and we we'll stick it. Well, for right now, we'll stick it here. We can bring up maps, and we can actually see where we're going. Red Horse Mountain. I have a feeling what will happen is um, stuffing around with this in here may tank my frames a bit. So let's uh, get rid of it. Screw it, we don't need it. Oh yeah, the scenery is pretty good. I find it a little bit, um, a little bit green though. Apart from that, uh, why are we not leveling out? Okay, well that's enough for you. Why is our... Yeah, I've not flown this in months. Okay. Finally, we're going to get a bit of... Uh, a bit of airspeed happening. Because we were... really headed up quite fast. Yeah, looking good. Oh, she's moving a bit there. We do have an airport down here. <clears throat> somewhere 
Actually, we're approaching it quite fast, actually. Uh, where are you, airport? Oh, right there. That looks quite nice down there, doesn't it? I think we should go land. Okay, we're going to bring our power back. Uh, we're going to go to... Da, da, da. Oh, it's here. Something like that. We may as well go for a land. I can't just stay up in the air for all, all night. <clears throat> yeah, it's really interesting that... Um, I'm going to try this again. This is what I did to um, fix up my... Um... Well, I don't know if it worked that time. But I was, I found that I, if I'd go into that menu setting, I could actually come out and nothing would be juttering about. Um. Ah, it's really nice down there. Here we're not getting down far enough. Hmm, a little bit something up with the author right there. we uh, head over to the river there, we can um, line up for the runway pretty well. Oh. Oh. Oh, there she's there. Oh, what the? What is going on there? I think that's a um, an FSC um, prefab airport problem right there. Anyway. That's jumpy. Eight thousand. Well, I can safely say I've not actually flown over here, so. We are going to bring it down. Wow, what do we got here? A lot of um, little roads and stuff. Okay, I would like to actually slow us down, but it's not really going to happen, is it? Okay, if we're under 200 knots, we can do this.
That sound is awesome. Okay. I don't know, we're a lot lower than I thought we were. Oh, come on, VR, what are you doing? Okay, we can bring in some flaps. I've not landed this for quite some time. Okay, what's happening with this airport? in some more flaps there okay all oh, right we've got it's like we've got yeah I think it's an FSE airport which uh, makes it a bit dodgy So we are down to 30 flaps. I think I'm going to need to slow us right down. Would have actually slowed down a lot more. Wow, it really is. Uh... Really need to get down. Do have a bit of a ridge here. Definitely coming in. Actually, our um, airspeed's pretty decent. We're only doing 110. We're just high, so. Just trying to get us down. Yeah, that other airport there. Other runway. I think. I think is an FSC airport and sometimes they don't really line up. Not the best approach, I, I'm sorry. It looks like we've got trees on the runway. Unless this is not the right... Is this a runway? Or is this just the ortho? Well, it looks like a runway to me. It's probably the real one, runway, but we have trees, so... <laughs> this is the ortho runway. Fair enough. It's 2-8, coming on 2-8. Yep, this is actual ortho runway. So this is actually, oh, um, why doesn't it line up? That's just crazy. Hey, oh. Well, I'm getting back into it. The old PC-12. Holding it okay. Okay. 
Oh man, I'm not really flying anywhere. I was flying the super cub and I just thought I'd uh, get on here and uh, have a fly the PC-12. But it's nearly actually bedtime for me, so which I should probably head to bed. But I was, what I got on here for tonight to do, actually what I might do is, uh, I should probably, yeah, quit for the night. What I might do is I'll just stop here. Because it is getting late. I'm going to... Wow, it's a beautiful aircraft. Oh. Really is. It's great at FS economy too. Let me check the time. Yeah, yeah, it's eleven o'clock. So, hey, I'm looking at myself. Oh, what are you doing, VR? Okay, guys. Well. I'm going to leave it there. Um, thanks for coming aboard. Um, I will actually do some real flights. Though. I just kind of flew around today. I was just having to go on the Super Cub and then jumped into the PC-12. Everything is running pretty damn good. So, yeah. Uh, what we might do, actually, let's see if we can go back. We'll quickly do this. Um, no. Go back. I'm going to go check out our... Our, um... Where are we? Oh yeah, here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here we are coming in. Let's go up there into the road. go up here a little bit. Yeah, we can see ourselves coming. We'll just I know it's pretty dodge, but Why do they have to? Well, it's the ortho runway. Damn trees. Okay. <laughs> Landing through the trees. <laughs> anyway, enough of the shenanigans. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me and uh, all the follows and uh, subscribes and all that type of jazz. Really appreciate it. Had some good ones tonight. I really appreciate that. And we'll be back on to do some more. So uh, I will see you later. Thank you for coming.